Hey guys, it's Ronnie here from Early Bird Farms. Today I want to do a little quick video. I'm hanging a security camera on the side of my house. I just want to show you this little trick that I found. Uh, we're hanging this on our soffit. Instead of cutting our soffit, what we're going to do is use this piece of flat metal. Now I've already cut this the length that we need it. And I've painted it to match the color of my um, soffit up there. So let's show you how we're going to do this. So this is our little camera here. It's alarm.com camera. And this is the little mount. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two little self-tapping screws here, two little tech screws. And then we're going to take our uni bit. And we're going to drill the hole right in the middle here to allow for our wire to go through. Now this hole only has to be uh, a little less than a half an inch, maybe. About three-eighths of an inch right there to be able to pass through that. And then we'll have to have a little hole in our soffit. And then we're going to put our our wiring up in the uh the attic i'll show you how this works so basically this camera is powered by ethernet cord and you use these dongles right here to uh to get power to it um now if you have if you have power close by you wouldn't have to use this you would just simply plug the adapter into this and then you would have about about 10 feet of cord to work with but if you don't and you ha already had a camera here, and I'm replacing this in with a different brand. So what happens is, one of these sides right here is a male, and one of these sides is a female. And so you plug your ethernet cord in here. I, I, I personally ran the ethernet cord and put my own fittings on. And one day I'll, I may show you all that. But, um, so this will just plug in here. This is the camera side. And then... And this is the AC adapter side. See, that plugs into there. This plugs into here. These are not used at all. And then you plug your uh, Ethernet cord into here and the other end here. So one end is out here outside. The other end is inside in my smart panel. So uh, that's the plan. We'll show you when we're done. A little quick trick, too, is um, anytime you're drilling into something, if you got a good solid cardboard box, uh, these screws are, are actually probably long enough to go through this. And then, of course, my drill bit would be longer, too. And I don't want to mess up my surface. So if you're ever working in somebody's house or working outside, you can use the cardboard box. The screws will go through into the box, and then uh, you don't damage anything. All right, here you can see I got it mounted on here. I got my hole drilled. It's big enough for my wire to pass through. And you can see the back where the two screws come through. The uh, paint got rubbed off from the uh, from the burrs that come off of the, of the aluminum here. This is a piece of aluminum here. Aluminum. This is a two inch aluminum stock. Flat stock. So, so basically you're just going to stick one in there. One end in the front and then slide it level. We're gonna have to actually make a, a separate hole. We're gonna put our ethernet cord up in there and I may have to put a cut a new fitting on that end. So that's pretty much what it looked like. It's very, very sturdy. You'll never have to worry about any sagging. You can see if I were to mount it on this, this has got a lot of play in it. This is not gonna go anywhere though. This is solid. And to make it even solider, what you can do is take a one of those little, one of these screws, tap it right there, and right there, and it's not going anywhere. But I may put one on the end, but that's about it. All right, so here you can see I got the bracket. I got my hole drilled in it. It's not going anywhere. I do have to uh, put a little bit of silicone in this hole. And then I'm probably not gonna worry about this. I don't think nothing can get back into that. But I may come back and put a little silicone in this just to be sure. I gotta get this uh, wire pushed all the way up in there. And then this will snap on and then that little screw will screw. Now that's kind of how it looked right there. I think it looks pretty neat. All the wires are hidden. And then, like I said, I do have to cop that one little hole right there and that'll be it. Okay, so we're up in the attic. 
we got to go over to the eave of the attic grab that wire that power wire from the uh, camera we got to take our dongle plug the camera into that end we got to cut on a new fitting for the uh the uh, ethernet it's actually a cat5 wire that we're making into an ethernet cable got to cut on a new fitting for that for that you're going to need some crimpers these are four pin and eight pin crimpers and so you'll need a rj45 eight pin connector too i'll do a different video on how to do these i'm not going to do it in here it's going it, it wouldn't be good but i do want to show you another trick so in this case i can reach the eve over there i got decking that goes all the way over there but in your uh it's still going to be pretty deep uh from that portion to reach your hand in there so what i got is my glow rod here and i took my metal hook and I've hooked my uh, wire onto it. So that way you can reach. This This is a uh, six foot long plus this, you know, 10 inches of this metal hook here. And I'm probably not gonna be able to show this part because I'm gonna have to get down on my hands and knees and crawl over to that. And I uh, definitely don't wanna fall through my ceiling. So I'll be back with you in a second. So this is it all put together. I've cut the new end on it. I got it plugged up. And you can see, and that's where it comes through. I got it coming through that seam right there. Uh, my my fish hook, I call this a fish hook. It's just a piece of wire. This is actually wire that they use to hang ceiling tiles with. This works really, really good. Uh, the fish wires at the wall and whatnot. So I just reached down in the hole with this and grabbed it because uh, the glow stick being attached to it was too long. So let's go look, let's go hook the other end up, see if it's working. So this is uh, my security panel here that I've wired up. But all I gotta do is grab the other end of the, of the wire, plug it into the other dongle here, and it'll have power. If you can see that little green light, you can see that we got power. <laughs> 